HRC, 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 HRC. Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, church. Peace be with you, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Hebrew Readers Church. Hope you're having a happy Sabbath. I'm your brother, Kasafo, and this is... Zekwa. <laughs> Hope you all enjoying the Sabbath day. We wanted to do a quick update on the Feast of Unleavened Bread. We're going to run through, through some things and some new edification to help us keep the laws. Zekwa, can you read Exodus chapter 12, verse 16, please? Mm-hmm. And in the first day there shall be an holy convocation, and in the seventh day there shall be an holy convocation to you. No manner of work shall be done in them, save that which every man must eat, that only may be done of you. All right. So tonight, when night comes in, that's the first day of unleavened bread. That's a holy convocation and a Sabbath wherein we can cook and we don't go do our work like our jobs. Also, the seventh day is a holy convocation, which will be the next sabbath day so when that friday night comes in next week that's the last day of unleavened bread and the holy convocation where we can cook feast and enjoy the time can you read exodus chapter 12 verse 15 please i got you um just make sure that everybody understands that when the sun is setting today we actually are going into passover and passover rolls into the first day of the feast of unleavened bread so that everybody can understand right Thank you, thank you. And you have the lesson called the laws of Passover for, for the edification on that. Exodus chapter 12, verse 15. Seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread. Even the first day ye shall put away leaven out of your houses. All right. No leaven, which is yeast, in your houses at all. All right. Exodus 12 and 19, please. Seven days shall there be no leaven found in your houses. That confirms no leaven, which is yeast, in your houses at all. <laughs> Exodus 13 and 7, please. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall be no leavened bread be seen with thee. Neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. All right. So, no leaven can be seen with you, literally which means you can't have it in your possession. So when you put it away on the first day of unleavened bread, don't let anything leaven come into your possession. Don't pick it up or even touch leaven at all. The only quarters one can establish is their own property. If you have, that is. Because many people live in apartments or with someone. So the best you can do is get a bag to store the leaven, which is yeast, outside of the house and don't touch it after the first day of unleavened bread until the feast is complete. Can you read Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 4, please? And there shall be no leavened bread seen with thee in all thy coasts seven days. Literally, we can't have any leavened bread or leavening agents in our possession at all for the duration of the seven-day feast. The law never said leaven or yeast had to be thrown away. Now let's get out of the carnal aspect of it to see the spiritual aspect. The true spirit of the law is that it's about examining ourselves and thoroughly ridding the sin from us and learning how to be diligent and precise so as not to partake in any sin, which means not to touch leaven at all, or sin in the spiritual sense. Can you read 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 and 8, please? Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump. As ye are unleavened, for even Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. 
it's important to keep the Passover in spirit and in truth by walking in sincerity and truth in all our dealings and thoughts to avoid the leaven of wickedness and ill will. Keeping this feast of Passover by performing the laws and doing the good works in our souls, in our minds, and in our actions is very important because it protects us from plagues throughout the year by keeping the feast in truth. Can you read Jubilees chapter 48, verse 15, please? And do thou command the children of Israel to observe the Passover throughout their days, every year, once a year on the day of its fixed time. And it will come for a memorial well pleasing before Ahiah. And no plague will come upon them to slay or to smite in the year in which they celebrate the Passover in a season in every respect according to his command. Amen. That's good education to understand how good Passover is and important for us. Now, the reason we keep our loving bread also is that we may remember the following. Can you read Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 3, please? Thou shalt eat no leavened bread with it. Seven days shalt thou eat unleavened bread therewith, even the bread of affliction. For thou camest forth out of the land of Egypt in haste, that thou mayest remember the day when thou camest forth out of the land of Egypt all the days of thy life. So we have Passover to protect us from the plague and the unleavened bread feast to remember the days of coming out of Egypt all the days of our life. Hopefully this is edifying for the edification on the feast and understanding of how to truly keep it in spirit and in truth. You got anything else, Brother Zachwa? Uh No, I think that's good. We just hope everybody enjoys their feast day. Uh, we look forward to celebrating with you all. And we also have the, um, the Passover celebration show coming up. So you guys just stay forward looking out for that. Um, it should be airing either during the time of Passover, or it'll be airing in the morning, a higher willing. So everybody just keep an eye out. Amen. With that, chat with the Chalam. Questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us via email at hebrewreaders at gmail.com or in the comment section. Right. Peace be with you. All right. Peace, everybody. Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, church.